right. How's your news? Same as always. <laughs> that is a good thing, Chris. Cautious but optimistic. <laughs> yeah. um, so we have the budget summary report. Yep. We have started to encumber salaries uh, till the end of the year. Some of them were not quite finished yet when I ran this report. I believe at this point in time they actually are completed at this point. Um, also moving some of the expenses to preschool revolving, mm -hmm. to school choice uh, as per the school committee votes, uh, both in the budget process and uh, at the last meeting. So the picture that you'll see at the next meeting will have all of these changes uh, having taken place and it'll really kind of just solidify where we stand. Um, most of the time when I report this, I have in the back of my head the transfers to school choice and, and right. preschool revolving and it, it's clear in my head, but um, it's sometimes it makes it difficult for others to actually see, you know, or, or to know uh, where we stand. So by doing them a little bit earlier this time, um, <laughs> the, you know, it'll be easier for everyone, including you and the staff members that receive my weekly report as well. So it uh, should be a little nicer with that. But yeah, uh, you know, no, uh, no things that are keeping me up at night at this point in time. So, so that's a good thing. It's the month. It's February. It's Chris. Hard to believe. Isn't I it? know. <laughs> you started like July first last year. You were concerned. Um, next up, we have the grant report. One item I really wanted to point out on this report is that the kindergarten grant at the the very bottom, the seven hundred one grant. That's the one that was cut. Um, I think we usually get 22,300 down to 17,671. It would have been even further of a decrease, but we actually spent more than the 78%, I guess, that they were going to let us have. So therefore, we get to keep a little bit extra, which was certainly nice. So I did spread the word to the staff that spending grant money early might be the way to go because it's, you know, certainly if they're cutting more grants, hopefully they'll stick with the same type of thing. So uh, we got a little lucky there. And um, again, as with the transfers that, uh, that we'll be doing to school choice and preschool revolving, we have some items here where there will be significant transfers into the grants. Um, one of them being the preschool where we just had um, a kind of a, you know, a hate to use the word instability, but there were some ins and outs of staff members in that area, and we were kind of waiting until that stabilized before we transferred money in, um, and, and we're really at the point now that we're going to do that. So that will move money into this grant, It's going or the expenses will be moved to this grant. They're not coming from the budget, they come from preschool revolving. So the preschool revolving account will see an increase uh, in, the, in the balance that we have there. Um, other various transfers will be done as well, but again, you know, the the goal, as always, is to spend these grant monies down. You know, hopefully by early June would be nice. You know, that way really we can just uh, make sure that they're done by June 30th. So, um, and a couple other items. One, I received a request for some old uniforms in the school. Eric wanted to dispose of them. Uh, there's a procedure that we had to follow for that. We declared them surplus with the town. Um, these were uniforms that were paid for by the sports boosters but and donated to the school, but they actually become property of the town uh, once they're donated. So Eric had asked if we could sell them, um, and I don't know what you'd get for a used uniform. I, I can't imagine it's much, to be honest. Um, and I spoke with David Nixon. The, the money, if there was any money actually that came out of it, would go to the town. It would not go to the schools, which, you know, as long as somebody sees it, that's fine. We're just thinking, you know, that, again, these are uniforms that were not fit to be worn. It's not like they're... <laughs> You know, they're really nothing to write home about, I guess. So he also wondered if they could even be just given to students to wear for things like spirit weeks or something, um, to games, et cetera. I think that's um, how we've done it in the past because yeah. my son has a really hideous gold basketball jersey <laughs> mm -hmm. from the 1980s that was the closet was opened and okay. kids just took. I think what they did too was really 
if I may say so, was um, Target, like younger children too. They put them out at like some of the older kids' sporting events and they were like free, take a jersey. Yeah. And that's probably how your son got yours, yeah. my daughter got hers, you know. It'd be a great it, gift for our visiting people from right. Tokyo. Nothing like a gold <laughs> 1985 polyester warm-up jacket. I would, I would think uh, a giveaway would be less onerous than the anything else. Fifteen dollars and seventy-six cents you will collect and then have to deal with. I, I, I would agree, but I, I wanted to just run it by you. So yeah, yeah. all right, I can let. Uh, Eric know that, that that's fine for disposing of them. Uh, the last item was, uh, it was discussed actually at the budget, budget presentation last week about some accounts that were from years past. Um, we The schools have four of them. Um, one is the generator fund that's current. Um, by the way, that project, we did receive the plans for it. Um, actually, last week we met with the engineering firm had a couple of changes. Uh, we had the electrical inspector there as well. I actually ducked out before we presented on Wednesday night to speak with him about any changes he wanted to see. Sent them on to the engineers and they made those changes so we got the final document actually I think last night I got it. So um, that portion is done. We're basically ready now to go out to bid on the project. Um, so that was one of the items. There was another one Hopkins. And we expect all of that money to be spent? I would say that's a pretty fair assessment, yes. Um, what the goal is, is to get a larger generator for Hopkins than the one we have, uh, which is going to be substantially more expensive than just replacing it. But it does allow, certainly for future expansion, to have other parts of the building uh, being able to run off of it. So it all depends on how the prices come in. Uh, we got an estimate on the price of the generators, just a you know rough estimate from the engineers. And depending on how much the electricians cost to hook this thing up, we can either have them add other devices onto the generator or kind of wait, and at least we have the capacity to do that. So um, it, it all comes down to pricing in the end. Um, we had a Hopkins repairs account. Um, Gail had a, a balance at the end of last year of 10,631. We've actually used some of that this year. We used 4,741, and there's another about $1,800 uh, that she just got last week that's not on her report that will be charged to that account. These were Hopkins upgrades uh, that were done several years ago, and we did some further upgrades. Uh, the ventilation and the roof, for example, they were broken motors and uh, so we got new motors put in with timers so it wasn't running 24-7 uh, certainly saving heat in the buildings while keeping the air quality good um, so that money I see being fully spent by the end of this year there are a couple other accounts that we're really not sure of um, we are aware of them but we have been aware of them one is the elevator lift account there's about forty three hundred dollars in that was from before 2000. Um, so that's been sitting around for quite a while. And Gail's notes here, needs to research article voted prior to 2000. So we're not really sure what that should be used for, can be used for. So we're going to have to get some clarification on that. Um, and the other was um, almost $9,000 in the Hopkins feasibility study. Again, we're not really sure what that one was for. I don't know if you guys know. a long, long time. I'm, I'm sure they are, yeah. <laughs> So the Hopkins repair one is the only one that we've been using, but we were aware of these other ones. Just, you know, we need clarification on what we can do with them. So, uh, you know, I will certainly ask people at the town hall if they know, and we can kind of go from there. Okay. Um, will you um, send me an email or all of us an email with that update so I can send that on to the finance committee since they were the ones that wanted to do the on these uh, the pot of gold other suite? accounts the POG funds yes, yes. the POG <laughs> funds yes okay I will do that yes so we're it is yes it is, yes, it is. just a different name we all suggest a different name I believe there's a select board member in the room we all suggest a different <laughs> name us. yes all of us. so. Are you done, Chris? Actually, I am all done, yes. That's awesome. Thank you.